Firstly, since the discovery of the double helix molecule of DNA in 1953 by the scientists Watson and Crick, genetic data has become very, very important. And today we know that genetics uh, is represented in every sphere of life. Uh, for example, if we think about uh, genetic therapy, so the Human Genome Project, or the study of uh, genetics on the population, the leading case of uh, the Code Me Project in Iceland, or the G-Diet. The G-Diet is a specific diet uh, studied and based on one's genus, or the phenomenon of uh, do-it-to-yourself genetics. Uh, even with Google now, it is possible to find instructions on how to test uh, and experiment genetic engineering. Or we can think also about genetic doping and so on. In theory, philosophers, lawyers uh, and uh, other experts refer to the phenomenon of genetization of society, which leads uh, to genetics exceptionalism and genetic discrimination, which uh, influences human behavior in every sphere of life. So here I put uh, only a short reference uh, um, to genetic discrimination in uh, the insurance field and at work uh, um, in the USA, but uh, I don't have uh, a lot of time to explain this. And so, about the personalized medicine. So, because of genetization of society, um, a new branch of, of medicine has been created. Personalized medicine. Personalized medicine makes it possible to have a better understanding of the patient illnesses. In particular, is it possible to have a specific structured therapy for every diagnosis or illness in different patients thanks to the results of, the, of genetic therapy? But, however, uh, is it really true that uh, all our predisposition to possible pathologies or illnesses uh, are only a result of personal genome? Or, on the other hand, are there other factors? Because a lot of scientists uh, believe that our DNA is uh, determined, is influenced also by other factors like the environment. So, personalized medicine has uh, brought about uh, uh, certain expectations uh, because now people uh, have more needs. We, we have the called medicine of promises and they have also more knowledge. Uh, we can think about the phenomenon of health med retrievers. Who are health med retrievers? They are digital hunters of medical information. So this hunter search for health information every day on the internet because they are on their own in this medical journey and seek a search every day this information um, and all the causes of their illnesses. So um, these new subjects are not only simple patients, but uh, they become a digital health consumers, a digital health prosumers, uh, and ask of doctors more and more and demands less and less mistakes. So besides this phenomenon of health med retrievers, we've got also the unpatients. Uh, the unpatients are non-patients uh, who have no symptoms, but have been genetically tested positive for some genetic predispositions and they live with a continuous fear of an illness developing but that may, but that may never develop. Uh, we can think about the leading case of Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie was operated for a double mastectomy with no tumors present but only on the basis of her genetic predisposition. So, uh, if we think uh, uh, this phenomenon, uh, for example, we can relate uh, it uh, to the costs, uh, to the health uh, uh, society costs. Uh, 
yes, it, it is a very economical problem 